Hey there, and today I'm going to be showing you a nice little tutorial on how to get 1.9 pre-release. Simple as that, and if there's ever 1.10 pre-release, hopefully it works the same so I can update this. And if it is, you'll know because that will be the name. So, let's get started. Now, you should really go on my channel right now, or actually when you're watching this video, this video, Click that subscribe button because it's free, you know, you don't have to pay for it. It's not like you're paying, so it's it's that easy. <laughs> and then um in the address bar you could type in minecraftforum.net or go in the link in the description, I guess, because I left a link. And um as you can see 1.9 pre-release is out right here. Download now. So easily click that, click, and then you're done. No, I'm joking. But you can also update your server, which I'll be doing too. So I'm going to click both. I'm going to get them both. So I'll be right back on when I got them both. Because I don't feel like going. Never mind, I got them both. Okay. Now that you got them both, um, put them onto your desktop or in the background or whatever, wherever you can find them easily. So simple as that um that's the server and for some reason when i downloaded this it didn't download so say file okay now that you got your server and um your um my just the client version go into the start button down below and um click where is it run or if you have a typing bar right here on Windows 7, then easily go to that. So, type in percent app data, percent, OK. And wait till you see folders and then click dot Minecraft. Um, in here, you're going to open the bin. Oh, this is for the client. This is for this one. Just so you know. So, delete your Minecraft.jar in the bin delete and drag in the one that's 1.9 as simple as that now to make a server um, just make a folder and you can name it whatever you want 1.8 server whatever um, easy as that I'm not going to be showing how to port forward I'm sorry but um if you've already port forwarded look onto a different Port forwarding is always different, and I don't want to have like confusion if someone's trying to port forward. And since I have all this different stuff, but now that I got that, right-click Minecraft server, <coughs> jar, and it will make a whole bunch of folders. So you can exit out right away, and hopefully it'll make the folders. Okay, there we go. And the world is your world. Uh, server properties is like the world name what you want it um uh game mode that is like peaceful um or no that's a uh, survival mode or creative mode so creative mode is 1 survival is 0 difficulty that's like easy peaceful and all that peaceful is 0 easy is 1 and so on MOTD that's like when you have the tabs in the uh, folders that'll show that one so my minecraft here, click me to join. Whitelist is if only certain people can join. To set up the whitelist, put in names in the dot text whitelist. If you have it true, so set true, just go like that, no capitals or anything. Allow flight, that's like if people can fly with the mods. And server IP, I always put as my IPv4 address. If you don't know how to find that, <coughs> go into run and type in CMD, and this will pop up. Uh, and here type in <coughs> IP config and my computer screwed up but yours will have a whole bunch of stuff <coughs> sorry yours will have a whole bunch of stuff and look for default gateway and IPv4 address once you find the IPv4 address put that right here and it's same for when you're port 40 you should have that there um so mine is I think one nine okay files 
have a home. Spawn animals, pretty self-explanatory. Online mode is, if you have it true, then when people join, it will search their name on the Minecraft.net to see if they've actually purchased. And if they haven't, it won't let them join. If it's false, then anybody can join with a hack client or anything without buying it. Pretty simple ops are people that can give each other stuff and TP to people and change the time to night and day to do that just put in their name and save document okay banned players is who cannot join your server pretty self-explanatory so now to start up your server you're just gonna click the minecraft server dot jar really simply it'll pop up something like this and as you can see I have on my laptop is where I run my server so it's actually saying perhaps the server is actually running on that port so um I might have it wrong but it's still just because I have a laptop server but it should work for you if you've and if you um have it, don't know how to port forward get log me in Hamachi and look up tutorials on how to use that because you can make a server without port forwarding but people have to connect with Hamachi so now just open up Minecraft and I'm going to show you how 1.9 worked. Okay, now when you got 1.9 open, <coughs> it should work. Uh, Minecraft Beta 1.9 pre release. Very as simple as that. And as you can see, it will see what servers are on and no one, none. So I'm going to go in single player. And these are the new items that were released in 1.9. Netherrack fence. It's a darker wooded, a darker colored netherrack fence. Same with brick. It's kind of like just netherrack brick and stuff. And as you saw, if you didn't even notice, there's snow golems. Now, you would know if you're subscribed to like all the famous YouTubers like Captain Sparkles or Blue Zephos, Blue whatever. Honey doing all them. Because they do videos on these. Uh, I'll, I'll start doing them if you guys want, like, I've wanted to, but just don't really have the time to render all the things. So, to make these, just stack two snow like that, very simple, and put one of these on top, like that, and it makes a snow golem. So, they are a ranged kind of thing, they, uh will shoot snowballs at animals it doesn't hurt them very much but it's nice to see that so yeah so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video on 1.9 pre-release and how to get the servers and all that um, if you enjoyed it and it helped you then please subscribe because it helps me very much in return so yeah Bye, I guess.